Hey everyone, this is Judy with JLB Crafts. Welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, thank you so much for giving me a try. In this video, I'm going to be setting up uh, the August monthly view in my catch-all planner. So this gets everything that doesn't belong somewhere else. There's nothing social media, there's nothing wellness and fitness in here. This is like household stuff. Um, my husband and I both work out of our home now. We retired from corporate life. And so um, worrying about, you know, meals every day since we're both home all the time, as opposed to before COVID when we both were literally traveling on a plane every week and we were never home. Um, I keep track of like when he has appointments that take him out of the house because then I know I can fend for myself for lunch. I don't have to worry about providing lunch for both of us, um, a meal for both of us. So anyway, um, all of that being said, here's the stuff going on this month. So I got a couple of uh, a niece birthday and a nephew birthday. He's out of the house working a couple days. I've got a bill due. Um, there's a dentist appointment. I like to put the full moon on here. And then there's a bunch of artwork delivery stuff going on at the beginning. So I want to capture all that. So the theme I decided to go with, those of you who are regulars, you know green is my favorite color. And you also know I've been talking a lot about the beach and the heat that's all over the world in the Northern Hemisphere right now. And so I decided to go with, I also like the nautical stuff, not the sandy beach stuff. I'm not a tropical beach person. I don't l enjoy going and sitting on a hot beach with an umbrella drink that just doesn't do much for me. I do love rocky beaches, but monstera leaves are so beautiful and so green that I thought why not um, do something with some monstera leaves my favorite color green so I have the the functionally chic this was from the rainbow set of sticker books from live love posh which you now can buy individually if they aren't sold out I went into the green there are these two gorgeous pages of green green monstera leaves love them so we're going to start with this this is going to be my main my focal point, right? So uh, I've talked before in my videos about setting your color scheme early. So I thought I would go ahead and take this and I feel like it could be, it could be right side up or upside or sideways. I don't really want to take up as much space as it would take on this bottom row of boxes to put it at the bottom. Although three of these are empty. I feel like I, I never really use the sidebar, so I think what I want to do is run this sticker along this sidebar and just really go ahead and take up a bunch of that space with it, and that's going to kind of set the tone for my spread. So let's just go ahead and start by doing that. So this is kind of like a run of washi tape. Don't pull it super tight. There we go. Awesome. I love the impact. It's a huge statement. I love it. It's definitely an impact piece, an impact sticker. So, okay. I have pulled some other things then. So, because a lot of these are very, very big. I was thinking maybe I could fit a corner one down here. Let's just go ahead and do that too. Not this one, but maybe this one. Because that one's going to take up like all four of those boxes. Um, but I feel like this one I can stick in the corner and it'll still leave me the functional space that I need. Yeah, so if I go right to the edge of the page, not not the, the border, but right to the edge of the page, it'll balance a little bit with that giant impact statement sticker on the other side. Yeah, and since these last three boxes are mostly empty, um, that's okay. So that's good, I like that. I might do a little bit of something up here, but we'll wait on that. So the next thing I pulled was, oh, and there are lots and lots of functional boxes. But the next thing I pulled was, this is a Simply Gilded washi tape, not Simply Gilded. This is the Planners Anonymous washi tape from the Tropicana kit. This is from, oh my goodness, 2021 maybe. Um, but so again, the Monstera leaves, again with the bright, bright green, but these are, have a black background, which just makes me think cool, calming, you know, breezy, cool, not necessarily nighttime, but just deep, deep, deep in the, um, in the tropical jungle where it's nice and cool. And I like the pops of pink. So black, green, and pink. So I have pulled black, green, and pink 
Girl Boss Anna overlay tapes. And these I'm gonna to use to accent all of my functional boxes that I'm about to put on here. So what I wanna do is go ahead and grab out of this book some green functional boxes for all the stuff that's going on. Um, and then we'll layer them with these to bring in the colors. So, but I don't have any pink yet. I don't have any black yet. So I wanna, I need to figure out a way to bring in this washi tape. So at first I thought I would run it vertically on the two sides, but I'm afraid that's going to look way too boxy. Now the other thing that's going on is John's dropping paintings off on the first. He's dropping them off on the second at a different place, but then he also has to pick those up on the seventh. So he's going to go on a big long road trip. And you all know I like to um, mark out road trips or overnight trips with a big run of washi tape because it makes it feel like one long continuous activity. So I am going to go ahead and do that to start and that will give me a nice long run of this particular washi tape. So I'm just going to go ahead and run it um, from the day that he leaves to the day that he gets back and it's it works out well because that's actually the only thing that's going on. Um, I don't have to squeeze in like any birthdays or other appointments or anything. So I think what I'll do to avoid having to punch it, totally being lazy, I'm going to put it right down here near the bottom of the boxes so that I, like I said, I don't have to punch it. And that leaves me room then for above it for like my garbage and recycle stickers and stuff. So we're going to go ahead and rip this. And then I will put a box over the top of it, a functional box to write in the information, but I can put it, since I'm running it as a big long strip of washi, as one continuous activity, I can put my box anywhere along that strip of washi. And if I go past the border all the way to the edge of the page, that also in my mind implies that the, that the activity doesn't end here, it goes on, you know what I mean? If I end it right at the edge of the, of the line of the week, it implies that it ends on Saturday. But if I go past that and put my last little piece on the 7th, it, it, even if it's subliminal, it signals to you that it's not the end of the activity. If that, I hope that makes sense. Right, this one is a separate one. That needs to stay on there. I haven't done anything to mark that out yet. And then we'll put this again near the bottom. So that there is now the end of the activity. Okay, so I've got little hits of pink on there. That helps. Now I can use all of these because they're on the page. All right. The other sticker book I have pulled then is an older Kaiser Craft sticker book that is all Monstera leaves. It's white, it's black, it's got a little brown, we'll probably stay away from the brown. But um, I always use these in my wellness and fitness planners, but there are tons of functional stickers on here. So we can go ahead and bring some of those in. So uh, let's go ahead, there are birthday stickers. I don't think I wanna bring brown in. So here it says, where is it, birthday? black on brown and then here is white on green so my nephew's birthday is the 29th so let's put a black sticker on there kind of like a shadow and then I'm going to put I'm going to layer the word birthday with it so we'll go ahead and grab one of these green ones and I think I want to cut a little of the excess off of there just want to bring in lots of those colors all over the spread. There we go. That's cute. Okay. And then my niece's birthday is the 17th, so we're going to do the same thing, but we're going to use the hot pink one for her. So there, it kind of it's a it's an accent, it's deco, it's shadow, it's puddle, it's it's a floor to sit on. You know what I mean? It just I like layering like that. I think it gives a neat effect. Okay. Um, let's see. Is there anything I can use in here that kind of has implies working? Well, there's noted there's to do. So we can do the same thing up here with um, this other separate 
artwork delivery. Let's go ahead and put a black one up there. Or I could bring in the green for that one. I haven't used a green one yet. So maybe we'll use like important or something for that one. Important, there's an important. Or I could use appointment as well. So here's the only problem, putting the green sticker on top of the green sticker. I'm not sure I wanna do that. There is a tiny little bit of brown in there, so I guess I could use brown. Let's, let's do it. I know I said I wasn't going to, but we're gonna. It's not a super bold color, so I think it'll, it won't stick out like a sore thumb, you know what I mean? Um, and then this for dentist appointment, let's go ahead and do, there's appointment here. So I can do another brown one. Let's do another brown over green. And then what I can do is stick a tooth on there. All right, so I have my Rolodex full of sticker bits. So these were pieces um, from like a, a ha various Happy Planner sticker books. And here we go, I have little teeth from one of the sticker books, maybe Household or Super Mom or something. Um, so we'll just put the little tooth on here. There we go. All right, and while I'm here, let's grab the Full Moon sticker. These are from Wilson Wild, um, and it's all the Full Moons for the year. So she'll have another set for 2023 right there. It says 2022. I tried making them, my, I had her stickers in 2021, 20, loved them. Tried making my own in 2021, did not care for it. Um, so I'm back to using her for 2022. I do like supporting small shops, so I definitely don't mind getting these stickers. Um, all right, and so let's see. I think I need to go black, which actually works really well for full moon because that's like a nighttime thing, right? So we use the black there. Sturgeon moon, that's weird. <laughs> okay, um, I've got house payment right here. Is there a bill due? Memo noted birthday to do goals. Nope, not really. But, okay, let's do pink here, I think. And then I there's got to be something noted. Let's do noted. Because all I do, it's set to auto pay, but I, it's, <laughs> it's the roof over our head. I do like to double check that it went. <laughs> Pretty much all of my bills are set to auto pay, but um, it's the really, really, really important ones. I like to note and make sure that they actually go. So, so if I do noted, and then I put a tiny little house or something on there, or a dollar sign or something, um, that'll definitely help. I think I used up all my houses though. And I said I was gonna order some and I totally forgot. Yep, I'm out of houses. So we'll have to get some more of those. Maybe I'll put a dollar sign on there for now. Since it'll be the only dollar sign, that'll definitely help me remember. And then the only other thing functionally I need a box for is John working, and that's two days. Let's go ahead and use a couple black ones right there. Or the other thing I could do is another run of, of this washi just across the two days. Let's do that instead. And that'll give me a little bit more further down on the spread. So let's go ahead and finish the functional stuff by putting information boxes on those two runs of washi tape. So I just, I think I just want a smaller one here. Um, let's do, Let's do the darkest green. Right across the center. And then here's a little shortcut I like to show folks. So if you have the teacher books, you have stickers that say homework. So if you need a work sticker, you can cut that in half. Let me see if I have any. Nope, I don't have any in here. And that way, if you have, if you have a schedule where some days you're working from home and sometimes you're working from work, then you can cut home and work, homework apart, and that way you have both. If you have one of the workout boxes, you can um, cut that in half, and as you can see, I've done that several times, so I have a bunch that say out. So I'm gonna cut this one in half, and that could be like out of the office or something, and this way I have one that says work. 
And so we're just going to put that right there in the middle. There we go. And then I'll, I'll move these. I have a bunch more. Um, must have been from like Healthy Hero or something. Um, we'll put these under O for out. Organize out. Okay. Done with that. All right. So functionally, that's everything. Oh, no. It's not everything. I need to mark garbage. Oh, and I still didn't. Huh. Okay. <laughs> Getting ahead of myself, apparently. Um, so I want a slightly bigger box so I can m put the details of the travel in there, like the hotel and stuff, just a little bit, like in a, the phone number, just in case. Here were some more functional stickers to buy work, that kind of stuff. Um, I think maybe this size. And what I'm going to do is just kind of stick it in the middle over here. Like, yeah, let's just put it right here. And I can put the trip information in there. Um, let's see, is there anything in here to go with it? Just to kind of keep the theme going. Party time, since he's going to be on a nice, fun little road trip. Holiday, lots of people call vacation a holiday. I could put holiday on there. I want to cut it just a little bit. Garbage cans and recycle. So the first week is garbage and the rest is recycle. So let's grab my recycle stickers first. These are from Planner Kate's. I definitely want green. I ended up cutting them, cutting the sheet so it would fit in here because I was bending them all up. So garbage recycle on the ninth and I'm going to put them up. Well, I could put it over top of that. And let's rotate through the different shades of green. So and then I forgot to pull the plain garbage stickers. I have kitty cat garbage stickers. I could use those because they're gray and they've got a big hit of black and I'm trying to pull in a little bit of the black. So let's use three of these. It's okay that's over the washi. The reason, like I said, I do the washi is so that it shows that it's a continuous event so I don't care if I cover it up a little bit. Those are big for a monthly view, but that's okay. I made it work. That's functionally, is that really everything this time? I said that, I started to say that before and it wasn't. I think it is. Okay. So I don't like to fill up the empty boxes though, because something could come up, you know, but I could put a little something here, um, some words or a little quote. Uh, I could put something down here. And then I feel like maybe I want to put a little bit more Monstera up here somewhere. So let's see what our what else is on the page. So I could I could put a little something across there. A lot of this is too big. Maybe let's just put a little bit more of the leaf if we can up. And just like that I have a corner sticker. Um, how about this one? It's a little bit too big. Okay, so there I have a cluster, half on, half off. So what we can do now is cut this off and stick the other half of it on the other page. So leaving them stuck together. Excellent, okay. So I, I like that, that added a little more up there where I feel like it needed it. Okay, so I wanna figure out what I wanna do, if anything, there and there. Um, this sticker book has more decorative stuff, but uh, I'm afraid it's not gonna, it, the, it's gonna be mostly minty and it won't quite gel with the rest of the spread. But it doesn't hurt to look. Uh, I, I just don't think these colors work well enough with what's already here. So uh, let me pull a quote, some quotes. So I'm thinking I've, since I've been wanting, I've got a lot of green. I don't actually want a lot of pink. So I'm thinking maybe black quotes and I could do maybe some different shades of green to... Um, echo the different shades of green that are in the Monstera leaves. So I have the um, black quotes from Amber Plans Her Day because it's got lots of fun uh, summer quotes in it. And I'm liking 
Um, I, I love My Heart Belongs to the Sea. I always love that one. But I feel like this one, since this is more tropical, this Good Times tan lines would fit pretty well. So maybe put that one down here. And then I want a little one for up here. Um, summer State of Mind, Summer Lovin'. I actually don't love summer, but I do like the thought of a cool breeze sitting in the shade here in this with these nice leaves all around. So that could be Summer Lovin' or Summer State of Mind. So let's do those two here and down here. And I just need to pull some more greens, some Girl Boss Anna greens. So I don't think I mentioned, I am a PR rep for Girl Boss Anna through the end of the year. And um, so if you use my code JUDI10, you'll get 10% off your order. And if you comment my name, Judy, in the comments on your order, you will get my freebie sampler, which is the set of greens from the Sea Glass collection. So let's pull um, a couple more greens, maybe try not to get too minty. I like those and we can kind of ombre them like I love to do like that and put the quotes over top. So I'm going to speed this up while I go ahead and do that. I'm just going to kind of ombre out. I almost feel like I could go like a sideways ombre on this one um, and put the quote across. Let's do that because I always do them from bottom to top. Let's do a sideways one. Okay, so this one was going to be Good Times Tan Lines because it was a little shorter and longer, so it would fit across, better suited to fit across two, yeah, two boxes. Oh, so pretty. Okay, and then up here, Summer State of Mind, does that look like that'll fit? And I think I definitely want to go... I could do Summer Lovin' or Summer State of Mind, whichever one will fit. So, but I don't want it to be quite that big, so I think I'll just do one of each color and then we'll just pick whatever fits. I think Summer Lovin'. Hair Up, Sunny's On, World Off. That's a good one too. Let's do that one. That fits with tan lines, right? Oh yeah, that fits perfect. There we go. All right, I think it's done. Um, let's see. Yeah, I mean, a lot of it is kind of empty, but um, I just, I kind of need it to be in case something comes up. So, I mean, the only other thing I could do would be to maybe grab, if there are any smaller Monstera leaves left, and just kind of stick one maybe right in here. Here's where it feels like it's the emptiest. And that'll still give me, it can even cover the 22nd up because I'll be able to see it through there. And that still gives me plenty of room to write if I need to, if something comes up. There. That, looked, that helped. That helped. Okay, so that is it. That is my catch-all, August catch-all spread. I hope you like this video. I hope it encourages you to go ahead and decorate your monthly view, especially if you don't find yourself drawn to it and using it as much as um, you could. Um, if you decorate it, then you'll go back and look at it. And if you go back and look at it, then you'll use it. So um, make it work for you. Make your planner work for you. Don't let any of those pages go to waste. I hope you like this video. If you do, please consider liking and subscribing. Thank you.